We have owned our home for six months and have lived in it for five. So we're gonna do a six month walkthrough, go through all the rooms in the house, show you what we've done and what we plan to do in the next six months. The garage. So we're in the garage where we started. A lot's been done in here mm -hmm. and point out a few things if I forgot. But one of the big things was the laundry room area. So there was a couple of random shelves on the walls here and here in such a way that it kind of blocked the door, which didn't like, so we modified that, simplified the shelves. You have put this together, which looks fantastic. We got a nice little laundry room nook, painted all the walls, cleaned up all the walls, painted all the walls, a nice dark gray, brand new appliances, and flooring underneath as well. We also did some drywall work. There was a lot of mold up there, a lot of water lines, so they didn't really replace the drywall appropriately, so we did that. Added a light, also did a lot of drywall on this wall, there was open holes basically from the main water line, which is down here, all the way up and all the way across this entire wall to the water heater. And the water heater drywall above it was just absolute garbage. So all of that's been taken care of. So now it looks like a fresh, clean white wall. Also took care of this shelf. This shelf was existing, but I made it a little bit wider so that we can fit all the bins that we brought along. Needed a place to put those, painted everything gray. Also painted the shelving up here for the paddle boards. That was also existing, but moved them so that it fits the paddle boards and that was also painted gray. Over here, this stuff was all here. We put a new white pegboard behind it and made this like the charging station, electrical station, and just organized everything with this. The front yard doesn't look too, too different. We've kept everything trimmed though. Look at our beautiful bottle brush. It's super happy right now. It's in bloom right now. Yeah. So we trimmed up this a couple times. Trimmed up that tree so it's not overhanging the street as much. Kept those a little bit manageable. Did some manual lawn trimming with the hedge trimmers just to keep the weeds from going crazy because we don't have a lawnmower. Why if we're just gonna remove the lawn? Um, and then I planted some bulbs along here three weekends ago. One is starting to come up, but we're still waiting for the rest. So out here, the plan is to eventually get rid of the lawn. Within the next six to 12 months, this will be no more grass. And instead have lots of succulents, rocks, um, and just look really pretty. Our other fun little item are these solar lights from Costco, Tommy Bahama. Um, that lights up the walkway at night and makes it a little bit more inviting. Before we make our way into the house, here's all the pending projects that are going on that have been taking up a little bit of space in here, but hopefully that should be done soon. This is the bathroom vanity, which we will get to eventually. Coming into the living room, we have our new greeting committee. She is uh, very on top of her job. Come on, new doors. Yeah. And here it's a mix of little and big things, I would say. So first off, the living room ceiling. There's no more popcorn. I don't even know how to describe how hard that was. With the scaffolding Alex had to get, standing up on ladders to paint everything. But I think we're really happy with how it turned out. Like, obviously a little bit of seams you can still see. We learned later on that that's hard right to cover. There. <laughs> was good enough. We patched all the walls and repainted everything, which made such a big difference because there were two tones of brown in here and it was not great. Alex also put this nice shelf up here, which is now where all of the house plants live because Noodle has figured out how to get up on the kitchen counter and grab things off the shelf. So this is Noodle proofed. Um, other updates in here are new light fixtures. Uh, we hope to get rid of this uh, vinyl, whatever window covering in the next couple of weeks. We also... We got rid of the vinyl covering on this window. We got new blinds in here, which is really nice at night. Um, and our first piece of art, yay, the picture right here. The one piece of art on the wall. Alex also put an outlet in that little alcove up there, so we haven't figured out how we want to decorate this yet, but now we have options to put some sort of lighting. Let's move to the kitchen. How much has changed in here? We didn't do that much, and thankfully it was pretty well established. We did get new appliances though. We replaced the fridge because that fridge originally was not the greatest. We did not like the fact that it had the pull out freezer on the bottom. Terrible design. Also added a microwave. So there were a few weird patches, holes that weren't patched. And so we did some quick patches in the first week, I think, yeah. and haven't really touched it. We haven't done any renovations in the kitchen yet. Yeah, we don't want to start standing in the active kitchen area. One day. Yeah, we needed a place to eat. The other big thing that we had not done is 
this Romex that's just hanging out on the outside of the wall rather than inside. So that's another thing that we need to take care of soon. So we have our gigantic pantry. We got brand new shelves and painted everything in here. So that's all done. Very nice. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Thank you. Also blinds on this window. Mm -hmm. We have the same blinds on every window, which are very handy. And they also are top down. Mm -hmm. So we can put the oh. shade wherever we want. Also a small thing that really made a difference was this new door handle. The other one was very rusty and wobbly and loose, so we got that replaced. And then we have this fourth room. I think we mentioned in there that we wouldn't see the floor in this for a long time, and yeah, it's holding true because this is our storage room. We unpacked a box last weekend. Go ahead. We us. did unpack a box. There is a section here that was once occupied, and now I can stand in it. So our backyard is in a state of transition right now, so I don't mind the mess. I don't know how much different it looks than when we first got here, besides more plants. New things, though. Of course, we have our native garden for pollinators right here. Don't mind the dragon food, not native. All these new pots, which we're really excited about and add a little brightness to this corner. Garden that we're working with right here, then the dirt patch over yonder. Here's the side yard. We've done nothing except grow weeds. Over here, we're working with the collection of plants we have, um, sort of mapped out by things that need to get watered more and then more succulenty type plants. Um, eventually, some of those succulents will go in the front yard for our low water landscaping. Um, and then we'll figure out what to do with the rest of them. Right now, we're in the middle of planning out the garden for fruit trees. So I've dug out all of the weeds, um, identified where there are already holes. I think we're going to fill those in and move the trees around. Lift up the trees there in the wet feet, and then put the trellis across the back because that uh, piece of like fencing that used to be along here fell just a couple weeks into owning it. So we haven't had a lot of privacy from this intersection. But hopefully in the next I would say a month or two, this starts to shape up a lot more. Something that you can hopefully not tell was done because it looks right now is fixing the stucco work around this door so it was open over here. So we got a guy to come in, fix the stucco, and then painted it up ourselves. So now it blends in. Another big thing that we did on the exterior is the roof. That was in desperate need of repair, especially the front over the garage. It was absolutely deteriorated and really shiny, so you can tell that the shingles were pretty much original. So. Mm -hmm. Everything's been replaced and now it's nice and new and not only that, but it's a lighter color as well We got a more energy efficient version. The old stuff was this really dark brown didn't really like that Also, there was a hole right there in that little corner So the previous renters had a mini split or something like that through the wall So for the longest time from the bathroom to the stucco out here was just an open hole. And so we also got the stucco guy to fix that and painted it as well. So now it's like it was never there. So hopes and dreams for the patio in the next six months or so are getting the weeds out of the cracks again. Alex has already done that once and we're using bleach solution to try to kill them off. And then fill it in with paver sand so we hopefully have no more weed issues. We want to get a patio set too so we've been keeping our eye out on Craigslist and also like big box retailers and hopefully something will go on clearance at the end of the summer so we can enjoy our outside a little bit more. We're currently at the stage we're trying to figure out the irrigation system. I opened it up yesterday it doesn't work. So hopefully that'll be fixed in the next couple weeks for the garden. So here's the guest bathroom and pretty much all that we've done is just make the wall look worse. We've found that the paint on the wall is starting to peel up so I don't think it was sanded properly when they painted and just dust behind the, the paint or whatever. We also thought there was some moisture. Well we did find that there was some moisture so we replaced a section of that so now it has clean drywall and there's no more moisture in the wall. Plans for this hopefully in the next six months is that we want to redo the walls. We're thinking of doing two out of the four walls with paneling and get that nice and painted so that we can cover up all of this stuff. And then just other small things like fixtures, lights, and that's pretty much it. Also the fan, which is very crusty and nasty, so we want to replace that just so it's a little bit cleaner. Let's make our way upstairs. A few things that we've done, other big things, is the windows. So everything on the second floor, including this one, has been replaced, so they're brand new. And this one in particular has like a blue... Uh, solar shield fill on it, so it's very energy efficient. This is great. You don't even feel the heat coming out of the window like you used to. Also did a chandelier here as well, same uh, style as over the front door. We still have some ideas for this area. Firstly, we need to paint the inside of this window. We didn't do it initially because the window hadn't been replaced yet, so we figured why bother if they're gonna make a mess, but we haven't gotten to that yet. 
And I imagine taping around this window is going to be a pain in the bookies. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. That'll be a project one day. Um, I'm also envisioning making little tiny like individual plant shelves to put along these big walls. So some of my hanging plants can drape down and noodle can't reach them when they get some sunlight. So that'll be really exciting to hopefully get that done soon. This is the bathroom we've been using to shower in because a master isn't currently operable. The main change so far is this new mirror, which <laughs> if you watch your videos, had a lot of drama with it, but this one has stayed on the wall. We're gonna replace the light. We have a new one, we just haven't put it up yet. Um, the texture in this bathroom is really funky. Some of it's original, some of it is a repair, and some of it is like a smooth coat. So I'll have to fix that at some point. We still have a little bit of grout work to do in here that we haven't quite filled in yet. When we got the roof done, we knew we wanted a fan in here because the window opens, but it's always nice to have, you know, active airflow. So we have a couple holes in here because we've been exploring where the uh, studs are, or the, the rafters in the ceiling, to install a fan. So before it gets too hot, one of us has to get up in the attic. <laughs> AKA me. I will try. Maybe Noodle will go in there. Noodle, you can do it. Yeah. Like nothing has happened in my office. I still have to keep the blur on in my camera at work because you could see like the patches <laughs> mm -hmm. on this wall over here. Um, we haven't fixed the flooring yet. We haven't been able to find the flooring to replace a couple of spare patches. So that's still on the to-do list. I think we're going to do the flat mud texture like we did in the master bath um, because there's so many places where the original texture has been damaged. And it seems easier just to give it a fresh coat, but I know that's going to take a lot of work and a lot of sanding. It's going to be a mess while I'm still working in here. But we'll be really nice when we get it done. And then next to that is my office. Again, there wasn't much done in here at all, really. Just patches on the walls that obviously need to be fixed. And kind of similar to your office, the walls need to be done and... Yeah, it's just something that we haven't really gotten to because we use these for the most part all day. I guess one small thing that we did in here was just fix some of the shelves in here because whoever did that, I don't know, maybe they had some vertigo or something like that, but everything was tilted and broken and so we re-leveled everything and reinforced these shelves so now we can actually put things on them. In here in the hallway we have where the furnace is and this is the original furnace we think for the house and we used it once and it instantly broke. So it's kind of out of commission, but in the short term what we want to do is actually replace this and add a heat pump so we can have not only heating but we can have air conditioning as well and so that it can be a little bit more efficient. So hopefully what's in here is going to be going away soon. So as we make our way to the master, we also did the popcorn ceilings getting rid of that up here. And we fixed the lighting, so rather than the old, ugly spotlights that were in here, we have two really nice, flush um, cans. So it has nice lighting, and it's nice and sleek, and I think it really looks pretty good in here. We also, um, just a small fix, we fixed some of the broken drawers that were in here, so now they're actually usable. By the way, the tape are just places we have to touch up <laughs> that we haven't done yet. Yeah, so a lot of the painting was done at night and with limited lighting. I think once we do the trim around the windows to paint that, we'll also go around the house and finally get rid of these. So now we don't have orange tape everywhere. <laughs> I think the master bedroom looks very different from when we first entered in here. We got rid of some shelves that had been hanging out on this wall that weren't cute. Mm -hmm. um, we've done a ton of wall patching in here. There was a lot of dings, um, a lot of places where the texture was really funky. So while we are using the orange spray can as a doorstop right now, uh, <laughs> real doorstop, um, that has come in really handy in this room. And it allowed us to paint it this sort of calming bluish green color. I like it. We of course took off the popcorn ceilings in here too. Um, this was, you know, interesting on the, the sloped wall. It was quite the workout to paint with a, a paint roller. Uh, but we finally did all the touch-ups in here, so there's no orange uh, tape markings in here either. We also replaced this whole window, which was magical for reducing the street sound outside. I think that's the one main downside of this house, having the street right here can be a little noisy. So in the next six months, uh, what will be hopefully a major change is we'll get all these boxes and the junk out of here right now. A lot of this is bathroom stuff and bathroom fixtures that will go in the new vanity when we finally have it in the master bath. Speaking of master baths, this is where we've been focusing most of our work the last couple weeks. 
and a lot has happened. So before we had this really old crusty vanity with really rusty sinks that were absolutely unusable. Both sinks were leaking and we got rid of all of that. We have a new vanity in the garage that we're planning to put in here. But before that, we fixed all the walls. We have this nice painted accent wall here and we painted all the walls around it this nice cream color so it's nice and warm. And we also have this beautiful vanity lighting. We have a similar one that's going to go in the other bathroom to match. And so eventually we will have the vanity and the mirror in here. We also did a lot of fixes. This is where the hole was for the mini split and it was done horribly and the wall went straight through to the stucco, so all that's been patched up. It's like it was never there. And in this half of the bathroom, we haven't really done much um, besides just getting the walls prepped. So similar to that room, that cream color, we're going to do the same in here. And so we're still fixing the walls for that. It might be hard to see because of all the junk that we have currently in here. This is more or less the storage area, but a lot of the grout has some nasty blue coloring in it, and I don't know if that's old soap residue or what it is, but we're going to eventually chip that out and replace it with some new grout. And then the other thing that we did was um, actually vent that fan light. So that was existing, but it was just venting into the attic area. But when we got the roof done, we had them actually put a vent there. So now we actually have it going out the top of the house. What have we done that you think was the hardest? Oh, I think it was the month long push just to get ready for moving because we were here like every night and like all weekend long, like working in the dark a lot of the time mm -hmm. without the light fixtures, just to get the walls and the living room painted and the bedroom and to do the ceiling. What do you think? Definitely that the popcorn ceiling was the hardest, especially in this room because it's essentially two stories tall. Mm -hmm. And that was a lot of work and it was really stressful making sure that all of that was ready before we can actually move stuff into the house. I think it was also the most rewarding too because it makes the room look so much nicer, so much cleaner. It's amazing just what all those little fixes add up to and especially getting rid of that popcorn ceiling. The popcorn really dated the house. Mm -hmm. And I think it looks a lot cleaner right now. Yeah, I think it brought like the house like way up in <laughs> its, its timeline. It's mm -hmm. amazing what a coat of paint can do. I don't think I fully appreciated that until uh, doing all this work. I have to say, I hate painting and I didn't realize how much I hated doing it. <laughs> but doing the bathroom last weekend was a pain. It was just, you know, getting like the right texture. I don't know, doing all the edging, like it's so easy to miss spots. Even when you do it right, you like you can get roller marks. That is, like it makes a lot of difference, but it, I really don't like doing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's in general another hard part is just making sure that what we're doing is getting done right. Because a lot of the stuff that we pointed out when we first got the house was a lot of half-ass stuff. And a lot of the time we were looking at it thinking, why did they do this? Why did they do that? But now... I can kind of see where they were coming from because I'm sure they were just looking at this project, whatever it was, and saying, why is it taking so long? Just throw something on it and just call it good. And that's what they had been doing. And then that's the result of what it looks like, uh, a half-assed job. So mm -hmm. doing all of the prep and all of the work, all of the time involved in these projects has been long and daunting, but mm -hmm. I think it pays off in the end. I don't think we're quite as far along as I had expected by this point. Like I thought we'd be in our master bath by now, but it is just so time consuming to make sure the details look right. When it's a wall, you're going to be like staring at like a foot away, right? Or like looking at the light switch or the outlet, like all that stuff is going to matter over time. So it's worth doing it well. And it makes me appreciate what they did in the house to begin with too. Like um, getting rid of the coat closet, making the pantry bigger, doing all the remodeling in the kitchen and getting rid of the popcorn there. Um, they did do a lot of renovations in this house that I think make it nicer than some of the other models, at least from what we've seen on Zillow. And, you know, we can look through the pictures when it was last listed. Mm -hmm. Like I really do enjoy like this house itself and then the, the upgrades that have been made over time. What are you most proud of? I don't know. I'd call it proud of, but mm -hmm. I'm really glad that we got the roof done because yeah. that was a big thing. And we knew that we were going to have to do that. So it's just nice to have that finally done mm -hmm. and it looks really nice. It adds to the appeal of the exterior of the house, but I think what we did, I was going to say the popcorn ceiling again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that's a lot to be proud of. It's a lot of space and it's going to be like that for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. For me, I think it's going to be the master bath when it's done because I think it's going to look pretty professional. Um, what's been easier than you thought it would be? 
easier. Yeah. Probably the electrical work. Hmm. Because we did know that there were a few things like outlets were not wired correctly and we wanted to switch out all of the light switches to rocker panels which we were able to do and that was pretty simple actually just a few tutorials online and we were able to knock that out really quickly it's one of those small little things that just adds to the big picture of the house it makes it look mm -hmm. a lot cleaner i was originally really intimidated by that kind of stuff but mm -hmm. you know once you get to know it a few few simple things then it's pretty simple to do and then we've gone even above and beyond that by like adding outlets in places yeah. where there haven't been or fixing weird mm -hmm. DIY hackery that oh they had gosh. like in the garage, that box that they just straight wired the sprinkler system to some random wire in the wall and yeah. I was able to fix that and turn it into an outlet. <laughs> that was a <all> sketchy. <laughs> Didn't think we were going to do that. Mm -hmm. I think in our original estimate of things we were going to hire an electrician for all that yeah. but didn't have to. For me, I think it was the stucco on the back near the door. Mm. I was really afraid like there's gonna be water damage back there and it was gonna be a whole thing to like waterproof and fix, but Alex found the guy. He was really good. Yeah, and, some like, local guy. In one day. And it looks perfect. He took care of it in a day. Yeah, so that was really easy. What do you look forward to in the next six months? Oh my gosh, I feel like we're so close on so many things. Finishing the bathroom <laughs> will be really nice. Yes. I'm really excited to get the garden like done like to get the mulch down that I'm, that's going to take longer than expected i think like figuring out the grading um doing the figuring out the sprinkler system like getting that to work and then putting in a drip system and then putting the mulch on top and after everything's planted but that'll be really cool to have a corner like feel set and get some plants out of pots because we've been acquiring pots and are running out of space <laughs> for them. i'm also definitely looking forward to the master bathroom yeah. not just the master bathroom but also just the hallway bathroom the upstairs one because we are because we are going to fix the vanity similar to what we're doing in the master so it matches and so that one would be really nice once mm -hmm. that's done and the bathroom fan is installed we can have two fully done bathrooms yeah would be really nice to have. I think we'll also get a couple of projects done that'll be nice for having people over because mm -hmm. like I'm a little embarrassed with the guest bath with the, <laughs> the bare drywall next to the toilet and I think we need some furniture like the the tables outdoors and the countertop height chairs which we've been looking for online and just haven't found like something we love that's noodle proof that looks comfortable and is at a decent price and then we can have people over like on the ground floor <laughs> and have it look like a finished house. <laughs> It'll be nice to have guests over without saying, it's a work in progress, yeah. don't mind this, don't mind that. Mm -hmm. But it's still kind of cool to show people like what we've done. Like mm -hmm. I'm proud of how DIY <laughs> we have been. Yeah, and it is hard to see on a week to week basis, mm -hmm. just the impact of things, because it feels like every week, at least for the last month, two months has been let's work on the bathroom. Yeah. And it's just a, such a slow pace, but then when you see what we had to work with versus what it is now, there is a big change. So. Yeah, go us. Go us. <laughs> Any thoughts? <laughs>